as to who is doing what, right? So we have covered the intelligent part. Uh, we have, we'll move on to the automation part. As much as intelligence is important, we believe automation is also important because uh, we have seen SIEMs, uh, typical SIEM installations, uh, if you uh, look at it three to four years before their long-term project. So if you start installing uh, an SIEM, it would typically take you seven to eight months to even get started. Right? It required a huge amount of planning, it required a huge amount of effort, manpower, and uh, the end results as we saw for, for first generation SIEMs were not that great. But with uh, QRadar, uh, apart from the fact that it's a next generation SIEM and has all intelligence built into it, you will see that it is a very, very easy system to deploy. Yes, uh, it's a very easy system to deploy. Um, I mean, we have seen vendors taking 10 days to just get started with one log source. Uh, we have QRadar uh, set up in three hours and starting to detect activities on the network. Right, three flat hours. We have seen that. Right. So what what uh, all do we provide? So these three um, uh, typical administration to be in three three uh, layers. So we monitor, we analyze, and we act. Right. So in monitor we have an auto discovery of log sources, we have auto discovery of applications because in our layer 7 flow analysis, we have auto discovery of assets, so we can immediately make out who, uh, what are all the machines that are available on your network because I am listening to the network activity, so I can know each IP address, I can probably even know each MAC address on your network. We do an auto grouping of assets based on the IP, uh, we have a centralized log management. From the analyzed perspective, uh, we have an auto-tuning uh, inside it. This is all proprietary patented technology. We auto-detect threats. Uh, we have thousands of predefined rules which you don't even need to write your own rules when you deploy QRadar even with without doing a single thing, with just installation and you know adding uh, the log sources, uh, you can uh, automatically start detecting threats. Of course, there are some log sources which you have to add manually, but if, if there are other log sources which get generated automatically. Right? We have advanced security analytics because of our X-Force integration. From the ACT perspective, we have uh, again thousands of predefined reports for uh, various uh, various uh, regulations, like PCI, SOX, and so on. We have an asset asset based based uh, uh, prioritization uh, of offenses. We auto update our threat direct uh, threat inventory. Uh, we have an auto response, and we can also uh, do remediation to some extent. Right? You you can see the codes uh, underneath. So we the initial install of fill up system took about 20 minutes. Right? 20 minutes is nothing. And this this was getting flow and event data to QRadar for processing and ha having the ability to review the code iteratively. I bet you there are no other vendors that can do this right. So uh, when I uh, look at integrated, so what what does it mean? So uh, if you look at a QRadar, typical QRadar install, you will typically see only one console, right? There is um, we don't have multiple user interfaces. Our uh, primary objective in in QRadar is to keep things as simple as possible. We don't want administrators to get confused with multiple user interfaces. So all our software on the left hand side, as you can see, all of them integrate into one single console. Right? So I have log management, I have SIEM, I have risk management. You just add a, a, a license and suddenly your QRadar SIEM will become QRadar risk manager and it will start giving you predictive analytics. Right? If you add a flow collector to the QRadar install, suddenly your console will start showing you flow data. Right? And you and the network and application visibility, you don't need to really do anything. It will just uh, come out of the box. Right? So we provide you with one console. So the screenshot that you can see there, that's the only thing that you will ever see for QRadar. That's the only thing that, the only UI that we have. Right? So that's, that's how we are integrated. Right? This is, uh, on the left hand side you will see a typical, uh, uh, how, how SIEMs looked before. And on the right hand side you will see an integrated solution. So we call the left one uh, a siloed solution. So there are multiple silos, silos actually. 
uh, and what we provide you as a, a skew radar is the clean solution that you see on the right. So what are the uh, advantages and advantages of uh, or rather the disadvantages of zero solution is there are multiple vendors. So you will get the box from one vendor, you will get the storage from someone else, you will get the flow collectors from someone else, right? And there is a disparate price list. So you really can't predict how much your uh, assignment is going to cost you. Uh, we have disparate reporting and searching. Uh, we have a filtered and selective correlation because if, if my if my log sources are different, then I, I really cannot do correlation. So I have to work very hard for correlation to uh, to happen, right? There is a lot of duplication of logs. Uh, multiple product admins and DBAs are uh, are you know are involved, and there are serious issues with scaling, right? So what uh, the next solution SIM like QRR will offer you is one integrated solution, which is highly scalable, one common reporting and searching GUI, one distributed uh, uh, correlation uh, engine. So distributed correlation is, is uh, let me just explain that to you. So you have uh, one console, we call, we call it a console, it's one single appliance, and then to, to that console, you can keep on adding multiple event processors. So if you want to say, uh, I have some uh, uh, customers who use only the console and it's inbuilt uh, log management and uh, SIM engine. I have customers who have 20 uh, underlying event processors and 10 flow processors and, and you know that kind of scale. So we can deal with very small size companies to medium sized companies to very large organizations with multiple data centers. And it's the same software. There is no difference in the software. Right, logs are stored only once, and we have a very easy way to back up those logs in case you need it for any day for forensic analysis. You can just take a backup. Uh, the backup is not very complicated. You just take a backup of a directory, and that's it. I have never seen backups that simple. Right, the requirement is pretty simple. Um, we give you a total visibility as, a, as uh, I showed you before, and we have a distributed source storage, so you can actually attach our appliance to a SAN storage. Um, multiple terabytes and petabytes, and we'll uh, just keep on storing our information over there, right? And add to the fact that because we have multiple uh, event processors and processors, each of them have their own storage, so you might not 